Hello, I'm Michelle Dixon, Director of Strategy at Arts Council England. Welcome to this recorded session on the Activity Plan for Investment Principles Support Organisations. This template is a component of the 2023 National Portfolio Application Process. If you're applying to become a National Portfolio Organisation, you'll need to complete the Activity Plan for Outcomes rather than the Activity Plan for Investment Principles Support Organisations. You can find all the resources and information you need to complete that template on our website. Each applicant applying to be an Investment Principles Support Organisation will need to complete and provide three templates as part of their application. The Financial Template, the Investment Principle Plan and the Activity Plan for Investment Principles Support Organisations. If you're unsure which activity plan you need to complete, please refer to the applicant guidance on our website. You can find out all you need to know about applying to be part of the National Portfolio on our website, www.artscouncil.org.uk forward slash NPO 23. This includes information for getting access support from a member of our team if you need it. This presentation is available on our website in two formats, one with BSL interpretation and the other with subtitles. We also have a how to guide on our website, along with an example template populated with example answers. In this session, we'll go through what the activity plan is, what it's for, why we're using it and what you need to tell us when you're filling it in. The Activity Plan for Investment Principles Support Organisations is a template which requires you to demonstrate how your ambitions align with our strategy. We're requesting this information using a template to ensure that the information we receive as part of national portfolio applications is consistent and comparable. The template allows us to ensure that we can easily, clearly and fairly assess applications. If you don't use the correct templates, we may not be able to consider your application. To help you to complete the template, we advise you to look at our strategy, Let's Create, where we outline and define our outcomes and investment principles. You can find this on our website at www.artscouncil.org.uk forward slash let's create forward slash explore dash investment dash principles. Let's take a look at the activity plan for investment principles support organisations. When you open this template, it will always open up onto this main page. You'll find a key at the top, just here. This will let you know what information we need you to put into each cell as we go through. If you wish to alter your view of the template, you can use the zoom in and out function to the bottom right of your screen, just here. In this box here, you'll need to state the name of the organisation making the application to become an MPO. And in this box here, you'll need to quote your project unique reference number this template gives those looking to become an investment principles support organisation the opportunity to provide an activity plan. This activity plan asks you to tell us about the activities you propose to deliver to other organisations and to individuals to aid their development and delivery against our investment principles. There's only one template, whether you're applying to deliver against one, two, three or four investment principles and you'll be able to tell us about a total of up to 10 activities. So you'll need to think about how best to present your activity. Remember, this activity is only for 2023 to 2024. To begin, use the drop down here to select which of our investment principles the activity you're going to deliver will contribute to. You can only choose one investment principle per activity. This can be either inclusivity and relevance, environmental responsibility, dynamism or ambition and quality. 
Once you've selected an investment principle, use this box here to tell us about the activity you plan to deliver. You have up to 250 characters to describe your proposed activity. This means you'll need to be as concise as possible. To view the character count you have remaining, select or move to another cell like this. Here's an example of one that I've already added in. So I've chosen dynamism and the description of the activity, a specialist training program for museums to help develop their online retail offer in person and online. And you'll see the character counts reduced. To the right is a box for your output or outputs. By outputs, we mean what your activity will produce, such as a publication, training or workshop. You can list your output or outputs in this box here. My example, five lots of two day training programmes for staff delivered in each Arts Council area. For each output, we then ask you to write your proposed targets and success measures here. A proposed target is who or what you plan to impact or develop as a result of your output, often using figures and percentages to outline your aim. A success measure tells us how you'll evidence that the output has achieved what you aimed it to. There's a maximum count of 600 characters for your proposed targets and success measures. We then need you to provide location details for each activity that you detail in this template. By clicking the link here, under location details, you'll be taken to a location form for the relevant activity that you've entered. You'll see that there's a separate location form for each proposed activity, and you'll need to complete these for every activity that you enter, even if the location of your activity is the same. Let's take a look at the location form for this activity. We recognise when you're making your application, you may not know the exact location of your proposed activity. But where possible, we want you to provide as much detail as you can about the location of your activities. If your activity isn't location specific, for example, it's a product or physical resource and it doesn't have a digital output, then you can tick the location not applicable box at the top of the form here. For activities that are to be delivered and published digitally, then please use this tick box here. On the location sheet, you will see here a list of local authorities split into the five English regions, London, the Midlands, the North, the South East and the South West. These regions have been categorised using the Office for National Statistics regional definitions. The local authorities that are in bold are the Arts Council's priority places here, for example. These are 54 places that we've identified where we want to increase both our staff resources and our financial investment. We'd like you to tell us which local authorities you anticipate your proposed activity will take place in. To do this, you'll need to calculate how many days of activity you're planning to hold in each local authority and enter that figure in the number of days column here. So my example had two days of activity in each Arts Council region. So two, delete this one, two, 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 and two. Remember that where possible, the figures included in the number of days column should correspond to the outputs, potential targets and success measures that you provided on the main activity form. For more guidance on how to calculate the number of days for different types of activity, read the template how to guide on our website. You'll also see that under the regional list of local authorities, 
there's an unsure where yet box. So each column has an unsure where yet box. Where you know the region your activity will take place in, but not the specific local authority, you can provide the number of days in this box here next to unsure where yet. So if I know I'm going to do two days in, your, in the north, but I don't know where, I can delete it from there and add it in there. In the top right hand corner of the form here, there's a link to the gov.uk website where you can search a postcode to find out which local authority it belongs to. So if you know the town or the city or the venue that you want to do some activity in, but you don't know which local authority it's in, you can add the, the postcode there and find out. If your activity will be held across all of England rather than in a few specific local authorities, tick the box at the top of the form here that says this activity has national reach. You don't need to complete the fields for every local authority if your activity takes place in all of them. Don't worry if you're unable to provide a location at local authority level. We'd just like you to provide as much information as you can. If any part of your activity is happening outside of England, use the location boxes provided to the right of the form here. Again, add the number of days of planned activity against your selected locations. Once you've added the estimated number of days for each of your selected locations, the total number of days proposed for your activity will appear in this box. When you've provided the location information for your activity, you can click return to activity plan here. And then you can move on to repeat the process to add your next activity if you have one. Don't forget to make use of the other resources on our website that I mentioned at the start of this presentation. The how to guide and the example set of completed templates www.artscouncil.org.uk forward slash NPO 23. Depending on when you're watching this video, you might have time to book onto one of our digital briefings where we'll talk about the whole application process for the National Portfolio. If you're watching after the sessions have happened, don't worry, recordings of all of them will be available on our website. Thank you for watching and listening.